What's going on, guys? And welcome to another book review. Now, it's been a while since I've done a book review, but this particular book was a little different, but I felt it was one book that a lot of people needed to get their hands on. And that book I'm actually talking about today is called The 50th Law. Right here, it is written by 50 Cent and Robert Greene. So hold on, stick tight, and let's get this book review started. Now, I must say, a lot of times when I talk about particular books, a lot of them are very self-development books. Now, this particular book is a lot of people may be familiar, actually, with Robert Greene's books. One of them in particular being Mastery. Now, just being said, Robert Greene does some really extensive research when he writes these books, and this book is no different. But being said, I wanted to bring up this book because it teaches a lot of different things. It teaches not to be one dimensional. This is something I talk about all the time because a lot of times you find that if you are one dimensional, you really limit your options in life. If you are diverse in your perspectives, you understand things a lot better. You can come at different problems in your life a lot easier when coming to a conclusion. But not only that, through this book, you learn about overcoming adversity. This is one of the toughest things because a lot of times we, we struggle to try to overcome. We feel like we are stuck. And, you know, looking at 50 Cent throughout this book, he is coming from essentially one of the worst possible places anybody could almost be in, in a Western world, right? Now being said, right, he grew up without a father, without a mother, essentially left in the streets of New York. Now, his only way out was essentially to deal drugs. Being said, he found a way out. He used different techniques and stuff to his advantage to make his way out. And one of the biggest things I love about this book is how he teaches being more than just one dimensional. Not just that, but essentially being very fluid in what you do and actually listening to those people around you because there's a lot of different information that a lot of people miss. And 50 Cent brings that out perfectly clear in this book that if you are not listening, you are missing the big picture. And again, how he was able to overcome adversity and get to where he was, even when essentially where all odds are against him. And our, a lot of our problems seem very minute, seem like easy fixes, yet we feel, you know, we have this fear factor. We have this, this sense of uncertainty that really holds us back. But, you know, 50 comes to a point in his life, and it's essentially documented in this book, where, you know, he faces death. Then he actually realizes how quick death can come to us. This is something I've really thought about, especially in my personal life lately. I've thought about it over the past couple of years only because I've had a personal death in my life and understanding that, that to understand that you have to go after those things that you want in life and realize that the clock is ticking. We tend to forget that. Yeah, there will be reminders in life, but we have to understand that the delicate life that we have that can be taken from us at essentially any moment. So this book puts a lot of different things in perspective. You know, not only was he a hustler, but he was extremely smart in his approach and everything that he did. And it is well documented that Robert, did, Robert Greene did a phenomenal job in this book. And this is one of the primary reasons why I wanted to share this book with you, because I talk about perspective. I talk about being fluid. I talk about being adjustable. I talk about, you know, not being one dimensional. And a lot of people are starting to see the fact that if you are one dimensional in the society today, it can be very harmful because there are limitations on being one dimensional. If you are diverse in your skills and your perspectives, you can take specific attributes from one particular thing and essentially move them over to another to help you solve issues much easier than what a one dimensional person could do. And, and 50 was a perfect example in this book. And that's why I love this book. Now I remember reading this the first time because this is like my, probably my second or third time actually reading this book. Uh, the first time I actually read this book was right 
after my father's passing. And this book really opened my mind to different things about not being one dimensional. And it was pivotal for me during that point in my life and in realizing that you can't be one dimensional. And this was again, what, two years before the pandemic and all that stuff and all the craziness that's gone on. And I feel that life kind of gives you those breadcrumbs, right? To kind of show you where to go and to listen to it, right? Listen to your intuition. And, and uh, again, another great point in this book, 50 Cent talks about intuition and going with that and, and being open and mindful to that intuition and, and executing. And I mean, there's just so many gold nuggets in this book. Now you wouldn't think, you know, hearing a book about, about, uh, the 50th law and in, in 50 cents life, what can you really learn about a hustler from the streets of New York? But you can learn a lot. He was an extreme, uh, was, he is an extremely smart man in his approach to life. And he's overcome multiple adversities, not only from where he was born and raised, but, you know, facing death, being essentially thrown to the curb saying, you know, you're not going to be anything. Once he did hit the top, he came back. He never stopped. And that's one thing I take away from this book is you never stop. You never be one dimensional. And again, a book I try to read every single year. And I do believe I've read it one other time. And I just actually finished reading this book. And it was one of the books that I looked and I, I realized I didn't actually do a book review on this book yet. And so I was like, I got to get this one out. It, it kind of, again, pulls away from personal development a little bit, but only in the fact that it's a story of 50s life, essentially, but it has tons of great information. It is a very entertaining book. It's a very long, drawn out book. It's not drawn out. I shouldn't say drawn out. That's a wrong wording there, but it is a very good, well written book by Robert Greene. And as far as like any cons of this book, I didn't have any cons at all to this book. Again, like I said, it was very entertaining. It, it, it taught you a lot. I think. I take that back. There is kind of one drawback to the book is it jumps around to different parts in 50s life. It jumps around to when he got shot and then it flashes back to when he was a hustler and it kind of like bounces back and forth between on the timeline. That is one thing I didn't really like, even though, even though they did it, uh, there was still always great information no matter how they were flipping it back and forth. But I mean, that was probably my biggest uh, pet peeve of the book. But again, it wasn't really that big of a pet peeve because there was always uh, great information to follow, even though it kind of threw you off a little bit that we're jumping. Okay, now we're back at this this timeline, right? But being said, again, phenomenal book. I will actually leave this book down in the description below if you guys are interested. Also remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you are also interested and made it this far, remember that I do have an Ignite Mindset Mastermind course down in the description below if you are interested. So again, until next time, I will see you guys.